I'm your host, Tia Ayer. Total Recall 1990, then 1990 versus now, 2022. A horrifying but fearlessly imaginative work of science fiction is what the movie Total Recall is about. The mega-hit movie offers an endless number of gratifying ironies in the manner of a presentation of its narrative. It serves as both an intense surge of excitement and solemn feelings. This freak show of big ideas drenched in machine gun mayhem was discovered by director Paul Verhoeven, who explored related themes and issues with Robocop in 1987. It has been three decades since the release of the mind-blowing science fiction. It does come to our wonder, where is the cast which, though is excellent talent, made the movie hit these days? In this video, we will be giving all the details about the cast and how their lives turned out to be after Total Recall. Let's start with this video full of gossip about then and now. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Then, Arnold, at the age of 53, though his outstanding acting added vivacity to the protagonist of the series, Douglas Quaid. Quaid works as an intelligence officer, Hauser, and then as a construction worker. Quaid, in his different memories, Douglas struggles against disturbing dreams about Mars and a woman. He is seen having fantasies to being a spy who goes to Mars, and his spy fantasy is explained later by the evil Cohagen as he unfolds his vile intentions. Now, the Australian actor has turned 75 this year. Before starting his spectacular acting career, the actor, film producer, businessman, and politician tried his hand at bodylifting when he was merely 15. In this vivid and long career, he has served as a governor of California, apart from building a strong career in Hollywood. He was in a blissful marriage for 25 years with Shriver before divorcing her in 2011. The actor was seen in 2019 in the hit movie, Terminator, Dark Fate. Sharon Stone, then. Sharon Stone, at 32, played the role of the ultimate villainous Laurie Quaid in the epic 1990 hit, Total Recall. A devoted wife to Douglas, she tries to figure out the sudden change in Douglas's behavior. She is forcibly transferred to Mars, where she tries her karate skills to be of some use. However, she goes on to marry Richard later, whom she fell madly for while teaching karate. She is not spared from this treachery by Doug, who kills her. Now, the ever-popular Sharon has turned 64 this year, having made an impressive yet controversial career. Known for her bold roles, rust character, and blunt fashion, the actress emerged as an infamous sex symbol in her early career days when she appeared in Total Recall. She lives with her three adopted sons after divorcing Phil Bronstein. The gorgeous actress made an extensive career in acting and recently appeared in Murderville and The Flight Attendant. Don't touch her. Michael Ironside. Then, at the age of 40, Michael Ironside played the character of Richard, a primary character who was after Doug's life. Quaid becomes the ultimate person of hatred for Richard, who despises him for being with Lori. In the end, we hope to see him where he convinces Cohagen to turn on the reactor to create a substantial environment on Mars. He gets into a raging fight against Quaid in which he is beaten badly and rushes to save his life. Now, Ironside had turned 72 and still maintains a tough personality. The star has entertained us through his skills to play bad guys. He is a fighter in real life for having survived thyroid, bowel, and prostate cancer. The star is blessed with a daughter. We have seen him in hit movies like the X-Men series, The Alienist, Tokyo Trial, The Beacon, and others. Recently, he was seen as Don Lucas in the series The Dropout. He says there's enough in here to nail Cohagen for good. Get out. You got to help me remember. I said get out. Rachel Ticotten, then. Rachel appeared in the 1990 Total Recall series as the character of Melina. We saw her on Quaid's side helping him to save Mars from being blown up by the greedy Villos who wanted to have a monopoly on wars. Following her fundamentals, she stood by Quaid's side through thick and thin. Her valuable support for him amazed fans and made them root for her. Now, the superstar has a beautiful marriage with Peter Strauss. She shares a daughter with her ex-husband, David Caruso. Rachel made her debut in 1980 as a gypsy dancer in King of the Gypsies. She has come a long way since then, appearing in numerous films and television series. Her shot in Total Recall worked as an advantage to her career. We saw her last on screen as Director Tyson in Super Intelligence. And then you let him get away. He had help from our side.
I know that. Ronnie Cox. Then, Ronnie Cox played the role of our ever favorite villain, Villos Cohagen. Villos was the greedy chairperson of Mars, whose desire to possess a monopoly over Mars air supply resulted in only destruction. Villos surprises us all when he charges his citizens for oxygen supply. Not only his enemies, but he also brings his colleagues down too. He is portrayed as a truly wicked character, whom fans can't stop hating, but also can't stop watching more of him. Now, Ronnie has turned 84 recently. The legend is still working in the industry in one way or other. He worked as a voice artist in the star movie of Star Trek Prodigy, which was released this year. In his dynamic career, he gave fans super hit movies amongst some of his best works, One Man Force, Nashville, and Captain America. Dexter tops the list. He married his childhood sweetheart, Mary whom he misses dearly after she passed away in 2006. And Quata's gonna dig it out. You're Quata, right? Wrong. Marshall Bell. Then, at the age of 48, Marshall played the eminent role of George and Quato in Total Recall. Quato, though his enthusiasm is zestful and personality takes all the stage, he is a distorted human who sticks to the abdomen of his twin brother George. Quato strongly protested against Vilos. Quato possesses psychic powers, which he uses to locate the position of the reactor from Quaid's mind. Despite the help provided, Quato alongside George is killed by Benny who shot them dead with a machine gun. Now. The famous celebrity for his incredible performance in Total Recall has turned 80 this year. After his remarkable acting in the 1990 Total Recall, he has been seen in Starship, Troopers, Sex and Death 101, and others. His last on-screen appearance was in 2021 in the film Outer Banks as Doctor. Bell lives with his wife, Melina Cananero, in California, who has also won four-time Oscars for costume designs. Hey man, you need a cab? Mel Johnson Jr. Then, Benny is the first character Quaid meets when he lands on Mars. He informs Quaid about all the side effects of poorly made drones. Benny, being kind-hearted, helps Melinda and Quaid with the getaway ride when Richard attacks the duo. But wait for the foremost twist. When it is revealed that Benny is not the best man, he kills George at last, betraying everyone, revealing all along that he was working for Villos. Now, Johnson had a short but delightful career in Hollywood. He worked as a producer apart from acting in Broadway films and television shows. Benny is acclaimed for his role in American Blue Note, Hideous, Hot Feet, Big Deal, The Ring, and many others. She was seen last in Jessica Jones, which aired in 2018. What are you gonna do, Gillis? The dome will crack. Michael Champion, then. The then 44-year-old actor played the character of Agent Helm. His character might appear as a side role, but he held importance. He is the one who pinpoints the location of Quaid on Earth for Vilos. He is seen most of the time with his evil boss, Vilos. Helm is also actively involved in Vilos' plan to destroy the reactor and maintain the monopoly. Like his other cruel partners, he also meets a brutal death by Thumbelina, a tiny lady who chisels away his crotch. Now on June 16th, 2021, Michael passed away at the age of 74. Michael was credited for his versatile personality as a singer, songwriter, and musician. He released an album called Scorpion in 1967. After that, he started his acting career, which turned out to be a hit. He changed his name from Mike Campbell to Michael Champion and began appearing in movies. His acting career was short-lived. He was last seen in the movie Aurora as Johan Wells. Good to see ya. Nice to meet you. Come on in. It's through here. Ray Baker. Then, Ray Baker at the age of 42 gained popularity for his role as the infamous Dr. Edgemar in Total Recall. Dr. Edgemar is the creator of the machine which takes you on different memory trips. As amusing as it sounds, it is full odd of gambles. Wade becomes the victim of its malfunction, which resulted in the discovery of a reactor that controls the air supply of Mars. When Quaid and Edgemar meet on Mars, Quaid realizes that all along, Edgemar has been working for Vilos, and hence he shoots him down. Now, Ray has turned 74, but is still acknowledged for his role in the dramatic series Total Recall. The star has worked in a number of movies, including The Guardian, Bones, Crossing Jordan, The West Wing, and others. His last work was a film called Yegua, in which he played the role of Dr. De La Cruz. He had kids with his ex-wife Patricia Richardson before divorcing her in 1995. Since 1997, he is in a happy marriage with Colin Dotson Baker. You better get down here. I am with a very important client. It looks like we got another schizoid embolism.
Rosemary Dunsmore. Then, at the age of 38, Rosemary got to play the role of Dr. Renata Lull in the 1990 movie Total Recall. Dr. Lull was there when Quaid lost his temper after the mishap with his memories. After the tragic incident, she convinces Bob McClane that he has really been to Mars and is not bragging about it. She also rules out the possibility of him acting as an undercover agent as that memory was never implanted in the first place. Now, the actress who started her career in 1988 has turned 70 this year. We first saw her in the film industry in the movie Twins as Miss Busby, and since then the star kept on appearing in more and more films. She had had a prosperous career in television shows, having appeared in more than 50 shows. She was recently seen in the television series Good Sam as Helen Fletcher, which aired this year. She was married to Peter Dvorsky, who passed away in 2019. Good afternoon. Welcome to Recall. Alexia Robinson. Then, turning 30 at the prime of her youth, the remarkable gorgeous actress appeared in Total Recall in 1990 as the character of Tiffany. Her character was modest, always smiling and raising the spirits in the room. Her character was a minor one with small screen timing, but still, fans remember her for the way that she carried out the role. Now, the beauty has turned 60 and still admired by all. Alexia is known for her few but noteworthy characters. We got to see her in Total Recall as Tiffany. In 1996, she appeared in The Nutty Professor and in 1995 in Murder One. She is known for making her characters full of life by adding vibrancy to them. Apart from that, she has appeared in films like Good News and Savannah. The actor and producer are recently being seen in the show King of the Castle. You got a lot of nerve showing your face around here. Dean Norris. Then, the then young 27 year old actor appeared in Total Recall as the character of Tony. He wasn't one of the main guys, but his character was scary, which added more thrill to the action scenes. He had a deformed, horrible face and was always ready to put up a fight. He was trying to knock out Cohagen from taking Monopoly over Mars. His character is also known for the mind blowing makeup and the use of prosthetics. Now, Tony has turned 59 and has worked in a number of of films. We gotta see him in Little Miss Sunshine, Terminator 2, Death Wish, and many more. His two films, El Tonto and The Parenting, are yet to be released. Tony has had a sprawling career in television, appearing in more than 50 shows, including the Netflix super hit series, Breaking Bad, for which he won the Screen Actors Guild Award as well in 2013. His role as Tony got him many acclaimed roles. Deborah Lee Carrington. Then, Debbie at the age of 31 played the role of Thumbelina in the 1990 movie Total Recall. The actress confidently starred as a dwarf valiant rebel. Her performance as Thumbelina is one of her best works, in which she was a 3 foot 10 inch prostitute. It was her boldness that stole the charm of the show. She put up a tough match and killed Agent Helm. Now, Debbie or Deborah Lee Carrington passed away at the age of 59 on March 23, 2018. The actor left behind the legacy of some of her remarkable works, which will forever be remembered by fans. We saw her in back to back hits like Men in Black, Titanic, Dexter, and others. The actress played the character of Sophie in the film Special Unit in recent years. Having suffered from dwarfism, she was an activist all of her life. Licia Naff. Then, at the young age of 28, Licia was seen in the movie Total Recall as Mary. Mary was a prostitute with unusual three breasts. At a young age, Licia put up with a tough character of Mary. She began her career as a dancer, but hard work paid off for her in the long run. She ended up getting the role of Mary, for which she has been widely praised. Now, the actor just turned 60 this year, having made a successful career as a dancer, actress, and journalist. She has worked with magazines like Vogue, People, and okay. Apart from appearing in hit movies like The Equalizer, Fame, Law and & Order, and Star Trek, Lower Decks, which was the recent movie. Alicia has established a strong personality who is known as a famous actor and journalist.